This is the upper extremity splinting station, how to manage a fractured scapula, dislocated shoulder, or fractured clavicle. To begin the station, always seeing safety BSI for myself and my partner, I'm going to direct my partner to come in and stand by while I assess my patient's uh, distal CSMs, pulses, can you feel my touch, what am I touching, and can you wiggle your fingers. At this point, I will direct my partner to stabilize the arm, taking a cravat with the point of the cravat towards the patient's elbow, feed the cravat between the arm and the body, drape it up over the shoulder, bring the knot and the point right towards the elbow, reach underneath, taking hold of the material of the swath, and support the arm. Once my partner has it, I'll pull my hand out. We're going to do the same thing on this side. I'll take hold of the wrist and hand. Partner takes it. I'm going to bring this across, coming around, tying this off on the back side. Careful not to make the knot land up against the spinal column. Gonna create a swath so that the arm can't bounce forward. Follow along parallel to the top edge of the arm. Bring it around underneath the unaffected inch, um, extremity and secure it off. Again, careful not to tie your knot over the spinal column. Taking either a cravat, roller gauze, or us something else for padding, just very gently slip it up underneath the knots. So you're padding them so they're not going to cause discomfort to your patient. Come back around to the front of your patient. Reassess your CSMs. Feel my touch. What am I touching? Can you wiggle your fingers? At this point, I can tell my partner to release. And now the arm is perfectly secure. This concludes the upper extremity splinting of a fractured clavicle, dislocated shoulder, or fractured scapula.